I'm here at Whole Foods, and how can I resist that price? So I've never done this before. I've always seen these in the grocery store. You've probably seen them too. And just didn't do it. Didn't know if there was some trick to it that made it difficult or maybe it was dangerous. I have eaten escargot one time. It was in a fancy French restaurant in Charleston and it wasn't great in my opinion. Let's see what we've got here. I know there's a recipe for the butter. It's garlic butter sauce is what people usually have. It's got three carbs for some reason. The ingredients, snails, water, salt, white pepper, clove, citric acid, contains snail. Oh man, this traffic is moving at an escargot's pace. A product of Indonesia. Come on, man. I bought this over to the Whole Foods. I thought it was gonna be French snails. Draining the snails. Let's see what we got here. And there are the snails. I smell an earthy smell. It looks a lot like an oyster. I can't imagine it being a lot different than an oyster. I remember when I ate escargot in the fancy restaurant thinking that it tasted like a shrimp if a shrimp lived in a tree. Okay, I don't have a ton of butter to work with. I'm just gonna get a little bit of a sauce going here. This is just a little tiny bit of garlic. Throw a couple of onions in there. Just trying to get these, trying to warm these up a little bit. Just kind of warm them through. They're obviously already prepared and cooked. I'm just getting a little buttery garlic action going on. Let's see how this goes. Escargot. Escar gotta have it. Oh my. There you have it. It looks kind of gross, so it looks kind of like an oyster. I'm not scared. Let's see how it is. Try one more. I only warmed up two. It's not bad. It's much more tender than I would expect it to be. Some For some reason, I think it's going to be tough, and then it's not. It's not tough. It's not as tender as a canned oyster, but it's very tender. There's nothing particularly gross about it, but I think because it's still in my head that it's a snail and I'm not used to eating it and it doesn't taste like anything else. It doesn't taste like anything else. It's still gross to me. It's just gross. And I know it isn't gross in and of itself. It's like I can eat, it's like chitlins aren't gross to me. An oyster isn't gross to me, but I'm used to it. If I ate this every day, I'm sure I would just get used to it. So it's not inherently gross. I wouldn't even call it an acquired taste because an acquired taste is usually something that is just immediately repulsive. Like a, a give a kid some black coffee and watch their reaction. You have to learn to like black coffee. You don't have to learn to like this. It's just, I've learned not to like it because I've been taught that those crazy French people eat escargot and they're nuts. And even though I love French people and I think France is awesome, it's still in my head, this is a snail and this doesn't taste like anything. 
and it's a little bit gross to me. So I probably won't buy it again, even though it was, that was a really good deal. I think a can like that, you know, could regularly cost eight or nine bucks and I got it for under four. So definitely worth a try. I don't know what to tell you. If you've ever thought about trying them, you definitely should. You should try them just for the sake of trying them. It's not going to be disgusting. It's not going to gross you out, but you, it may not be your next favorite food either. This is KeyTube reporting to you with two snails in my belly. Hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you next time when the sun goes around the, the bend with it. See you next time. <laughs>